Oni Mbeto Akarani, David Karani. Oni Human Rights Defender. Oni Narua, amu kandekera Maria Ichogu Ndogo. Narua, angu enda kuwa Ariana President. President of Kenya, William Samuel. My name is David Karani. I'm a Human Rights Defender and also a resident of Mayo. Today, I'm speaking on behalf of the, of the, of the so many medians who cannot get this opportunity to speak to the media. Uh, I'm a concerned citizen of Meru. I'm a concerned citizen of Kenya and also a resident of Meru County. Uh, I've called these people today here because of the ongoing issue that is happening in Meru. Uh, those who are familiar with Meru politics, there's an impeachment of uh, Kavero Mongaza. Uh, she's facing another impeachment in just less than two years. And uh, I've started uh, a process to suspend uh, Meru County. Uh, suspension of Meru County uh, is something that has been given by the Constitution, uh, Article 192, uh, which, which actually allows a citizen to call on the President to suspend a county. Why am I doing this? I'm doing this to enhance democracy because Kawera Mongaza was elected by Kenya by Medians who woke up very early to go and elect her. She worked hard in all the nine constituencies and she got the seat. She was elected with a clear majority. It was not a narrow escape, as people may think. It was a clear win. So uh, I've written a letter to IBC. IBC are the, are the custodian of uh, the Register of Voters. Since this, uh, this, I've done a letter, already received. Uh, I don't know if the cameras can see it. Uh, I've asked the IBC to, to give us, I would wish to request the Chief Executive Officer of the Independent uh, Electoral and Boundary Commission to provide laid down requirements for successfully uh, suspending a county. This request has been put so that we can be given the laid down. A petition is already ready. We have a petition ready, which we are going to present uh, together with uh, collecting the signatures of the people of Meru, the voters of Meru. We are going to start this as soon as IBC gives us the laid down procedures. Why are we doing this? We are doing this because this this, whatever is happening in Meru is not what Marians want. It is not a priority. It is not a need. We have bigger needs in Meru. The, the, the young people, the jobless young people, are asking for jobs. The graduates, the young graduates who just graduated, they are, they are looking for jobs. This is not a priority to Meru people. Meru people want development. And this whole wrangle is causing people of Meru not to get development. That is why we are asking the president, take action welcome we welcome you to come and save me please take this uh, petition it's going to come allow that millions to, to know what is ailing Meru. is it the NCS? is it mama who is a problem in Meru? we want to clear you know uh, by forming a commission of inquiry this commission of inquiry will be led by people of integrity people who have skills to to know how to solve our conflict. We are hoping that we can get solutions, we can get to know what is happening. So we are going to be also writing to Senate, to tell Senate to give the people of Meru a chance to get to know what is ailing Meru and where is it from. To do, because now the Commission of Inquiry will do a very, very detailed report. We want that. Please, Senate, allow for people of Meru to have this chance to do this petition and because the president will form a commission of inquiry and those those findings will also come to Senate. I want you to discuss this in very, very deep, good detail. We are not watering down what MCAs are doing, we are expecting them for the, doing their jobs, but some things that we are taking to, to Senate are jokes. Why are we taking to Senate that a road was named so and so? There is no, already we do not have the report of the Auditor General. We need to know 
It's the only, only the Auditor General that can tell us where the problem is in audits. So we cannot be taking, uh, we cannot be living in Senate every day. So we need to, to, to get a, 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 a long-lasting solution to this problem once and for all. The people of Meru, the young people of Meru need jobs. The farmers who are working hard they need the industrial park for value addition. That is what is important. There is one common enemy in all the youth, joblessness. People are fighting even the industrial park. We need Moses Kuria to tell us who are those people who are fighting this industrial park. It is going to help young people. This is what young people want. Opportunities, opportunities. The people of Boda Boda, they want roads to be done. The people, the, the people, the farmers, they want good, good in, in roads so that the people, the small people who are being given Uji, for heaven's sake, why, why are people fighting Uji program? A program that is said to help those young children from poor families. I want to know, MCA will have a to talk to the public. They are not. The people who are supposed to benefit from what Mama is doing are the poor. For heaven's sake, can we allow, can we give Mama time to tell, to, to, to see, she solved the agenda that she had and people gave her kura. Why are we watering down? Why are we not giving her time? Every time, send it, send it, send it. How many now? How many now? Even when people Google Meru right now, if, even if you talk to an investor about Meru, they only, if they Google Meru, they'll only see troubles, troubles, troubles. Uh, we need people in Meru to know that there are people who are hard working. Meru is one of the biggest contributors to this economy. It's almost number five. It's almost number four. In adding to the GDP, we don't have hotels, we don't have big hotels, we don't have a port. We have a hard working people. And the people of Meru are asking, allow mama to make the roads for us, allow mama to feed those children in those public primary schools. Would you program? Who help on heaven's sake? Who fights Uchi or the poor? The poor who are getting support. The cows are for the poor. Let's allow her to work. These people who are fighting are getting allowances, sitting allowances, they're getting fuel from, from, from the public. Watotoa wengi walisha tolewa meru wa mpelekwa Nairobi. They should allow those people in the ground. And they have given them an opportunity to speak. We are coming soon to collect signatures in Meru. We want to suspend Meru County. All MCS must go home. Good you know you Summarizing issues within our county that have become motive to us and to the entire county, I would like to express our opinions and our stand and our feelings towards the same. We are youth of Kajiado County, born and bred in this county. We have lived here through our lives and therefore feel like it is our responsibility to protect this land and this government. Over the years, since 2013, we have had successive devolution government that have come and left. We have supported the initiative of this government through and through and still continue to do so till now. We appreciate the Constitution of Kenya that devolved the institution of government to have county government and national government. Each government playing its key role through its initiatives and their own acts to implement whichever is meant to be their role within the country. In 2022, August election, we appreciate that there were two competing sides of Azimio and Kenya Kwanzaa. While Azimio won the election for Kajiado County, the Manatero race, we recognize that UDA in Kenya Kwanzaa won the presidential election. We have no doubt that this was the representation of the will of the people of Kenya, and we do respect this. Our able governor, His Excellency Joseph Olelenku, and His Excellency the President of Kenya, William Samuel Ruto, have joined hands to work together in different levels of government to make sure that there is a synchrony in achieving the policies set out for the people of this country. While His Excellency Olelengu is in charge of Kajiado, 
the president is in charge of the entire country. However, we are concerned by a few individuals, shockingly and sadly, who work for the president, trying to concord and create a conspiracy to bring down the government of Kajiado. Like to ask them this question. If the president is willing to work with Olelenko, who are you, his employee, to refuse? <laughs> this afternoon, we are categorically speaking to one Mr. Metito, set house controller. You are a public service figure. You are a civil servant working for the people of Kenya. If that role is too big for you, that you feel like you can only operate as the governor of Kajiado, step aside. Ladies and gentlemen, it is the same teams that went to 2022 that will go to 2027. Sure. There is no miracle that is going to happen for Katosti. <laughs> and expect a miracle to happen in 2023 it will never happen. and win. <laughs> you can bring the petitions you want, you can sponsor the youth you want, but we stand with the will of the people of Kajad. We shall defend the will of the people of Kajad. We shall not be intimidated and we shall not fear anybody. Using the name of State House to intimidate people will not work. Finally, it's with my sincere concern that I address this. One of our own, Mr. Nain, our beloved youth, is being misused by this, this crooked politicians. Two months ago, we were in Nain's home, thanking God for his recovery after an illness that had begotten him for a while. Before he is even fully recovered now, these politicians are using him as a puppet to create chaos and spread propaganda within our county. We sympathize with our brother. We continue to support him through his recovery process. <laughs> we wish to ask Honorable Metito as a parent, Naini is your son. Yes. Why are you doing this to him? Yes. <laughs> Why are you prolonging his suffering? A few days ago, we gave Naini light duties so that he could recover within this county. Now he has been weaponized and demonized against the regime that he supported with his entire life. This is very sad, and we wish to let these people know we will not back down, we will not step aside, we will not be intimidated, we are not afraid, and we will stand with the will of the people of Kajado to the letter. Thank you.